Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Season 14 Hasu League Group A from the round of 16 upper right corner. We have Loves Now. Or Loves Now? Love Snow. Love Snow as the blue Terran. Bottom right hand corner, we have Rancor as the green Zerg. Very fetching colors. This is going to be on Butter, which is a two player map. Not Fighting Spirit this time. And keep in mind, yeah, so the there was Juicy in this bracket, but Juicy had to withdraw. Which means this is the winner's bracket. That means Mitex automatically going to get a, another shot at one of these guys in the final bracket. Whoever wins here advances to the round of eight. And either guy, pretty deserving. Loves Snow. Uh, loves Snow. Loves Snow, I believe, active in the CPL community. I've not yet seen him play, but I've seen him around chat. And he's a cool person. They're a cool, they're a cool person. Looks like we're seeing a... Nothing crazy from Rancor. He is going to go for an Overlord first build. Are seeing, we are seeing a Supply Depot towards the front, which suggests we're going to see a front door seal from Love Snow. I also like that it can be interpreted either way. It could be Love Snow or Love's Now. I like the Love's Now better, but I'll stick with Love Snow. Because I asked him up front, I asked them up front, what is, is it? Is it Love Snow? Is it Love's Now? And it was, it's Love, Love Snow. I think I have a follower in chat that uh, hates snow as well someplace. Anyway, Rancor going for the Overlord first into 12 hatch build. Am I right on this? Yeah, so we were moving a drone out. This is going to be the scouting drone initially. is potentially going to get rejected. There is this gap in between, a little bit easier to defend. I'm curious how that's going to end up getting sealed by love. But this definitely suggests that it's going to be one Rax... Maybe even a command center before the racks finishes. The way things are looking. Drone is going to be able to sneak right in. And maybe even harass this barracks. Or maybe also harass the natural. So doing what it can. It looks like we are seeing that SCV scout wandering in. Confirming the 12 patch. And the spawning pool behind it. And love getting, yeah, very aggressive economic opener. Just assuming. Well, it already confirmed. But going to go ahead and grab the command center behind this. I'm almost wondering if we're going to see a barracks lift, because this is a big gap. And this is a big invitation to Rancor to shoot that gap. Because Rancor, as we've seen previously, in a lot of it, versus Terran versus Zerg, he likes playing very, very aggressive and getting early leads and playing a macro game in the turnaround from there. Getting his extractor up, immediately pushing some units in. And I'll see how many Zerglings he decides to dedicate to, dedicate to the cause. Looks like four initially. SCV sees it. First Marine is going to be produced. And just additional barracks being tacked on. It looks like we're going to see two barracks. I assume two barracks. Academy. Engineering Bay. And it's only going to be four Zerglings into Lair. No movements towards a third base yet. I feel like this is a good map for Mutalix play. Because oftentimes what ends up happening is... is You've got, I should actually do a quick map reveal while things are a little bit quiet. You do have the protected third, but you can see where you need to expand towards your opponent. And so if you can get air control or map control, being able to control the bases out here to the left, especially if you can get control of them early, it can end up winning you the game. And knowing that Rancor plays a little bit more aggressively in the early game might end up being one of the maps that really favors his style of play. SCV cycling around looking to get some room to keep an eye on what Rancor is doing, which is absolutely necessary. Seeing some idle larva here, but gets wiped out. We are seeing an in-base three hatch. And I don't think Love is, so yeah, Love is just going to go for, I think, just standard two racks play. It's not going to be able to confirm it. Another SCV moving out. A big chunk of Marines, though, already produced out of that first barrack. But playing very, very standardly. This is kind of the bread and butter Terran build. More Zerglings being filtered through for Rancor. And there's the Spire. So usually what you want to see out of this style of play, let's see if he gets the Comsat in time. We do have the Academy, but skipping Comsat maybe to get earlier Stim. Doesn't need it. SCV filters in, confirms the third hatchery and the Spire. That's huge. Absolutely huge. And is confirming the kind of that transitionary mutation point on the Spire which I think Snow might be able to work with. The Zerglings flooding through. They want to go ahead and make an attack 
So 10 Zerglings, though, against this bunch of Marines. The Marines should be able to hold. And a Fire Bat! So I'm not sure if Love is just familiar with this style of player is just looking to do a bust himself. But now, Fire Bats and Marines peeling out forward. This is this should force two Sunken Colonies on the front. Looks like that SEV was killed in the background, but this could be a really hearty attack. See the medics join the fray. It looks like a single Zergling going to confirm their Fire Bats here, and that should trigger another Sunken Colony to be built by Rancor, because usually when you see Fire Bats in this grouping, it indicates an attempt at a bust, but it looks like Rancor is thinking, no, instead, if you go for a bust, I'm going to go for a backstab and rely on the fact that you... Nope, nope, they're just kidding. Dropping the Creep Colony now. Trying to encourage the attack forward, looking for backstab opportunity, and there's a lot of backstab to have happen. These Medic and Marines and Fire Bats out of position. The Zergling's able to filter through, pick off the two Marines right there, and Rancor forcing the Marines and Medics back. That means he doesn't potentially doesn't need to morph anything else. Immediately going for the SCV line to try to get as many SCVs as he possibly can. The Marines are filtering in here, regrouping as the Marines are spread out and boxed away from the medic support, so a lot of them dying. Not getting as many SCV kills as he probably wanted to, but this is also interrupting potential drop of turrets. And we do have the Mutalist count growing. And I still, the engineering base here, plus one weapons is being built, but that's the first turret, and the Mutalisks are already on the way. Second, second colony being dropped, or being committed here. The two rapid turrets at the natural. Unfortunately, I feel like if Rancor just made motions towards the main, there was a lot of territory to hit. Comsatting, see additional mutals, sees that the spire's finished. So Rancor, unfortunately, just going into the point that Love opted to defend first and didn't have enough mules to get the one shot. A little bit delayed. A little bit slow on, uh, maybe because of microing those Zerglings as well. The Fire Bat's stranded, and they're going to get picked off. Maybe Love just hoping to open up supply count. But now Rancor dropping an Evolution Chamber, interestingly enough. So you're going to go for plus one and maybe a... No, he's going to go to Spine. So looking to drop... So plus... This is interesting play. So he's preemptively getting the Spine's upgrade to make Lurkers and Hydalisks more powerful in the late game. Oof. He's getting plus one weapon, so these Mutalists are going to be a factor. Wants to make sure that Love is pinned in his base, and Love is absolutely pinned in his base. Still sitting on those two barracks. Plus one weapons is a ways off. Does have range. Zerglings floating in, though, to the natural expansion out of nowhere. I didn't even catch it. I need to pay attention to the minimap here. So turrets down, only a single turret to protect. The Marines trying to filter in. The Zerglings getting cleaned up. But a decent amount of economic disruption there. And Rancor, very early in the mid-game, starting to catch up to Love's count and forcing more turrets to be built, slowing this economy down. Three sunken colonies here, so he doesn't have to worry about counterattacks. There's the Hydralis den. But what surprises me about this is, is even though there's the plus one weapons, even though he's filtering in more Mutalisks to go for these attacks, what he's not doing is he's not grabbing an additional expansion while Love is pinned in his base. Love, in the meantime, double starport. Factory science facility is going to start growing that science vessel count. Plus one weapons now online. That's a big power shift as the, those Marines start hitting harder. But you do have plus one weapons. I don't know, 30 seconds away? Somewhere around there. Fourth in-base hatchery. And a second evolution chamber. So Rancor wants to just win it off two bases, it looks like. He's like, I'm going to go... I'm just going to make powerful lurkers, lings, and maybe try to punch this through with Mutalisks and Lurkers in the mid-game. I think the SCV out there confirming no additional base, but now Critical is keeping these Mutalisks alive to be a support in this attack structure, and several of them getting picked off now against those plus-one weapon Marines. Three barracks total, a fourth barracks being added. The economy slowed down, but we do have double science also being produced. And Irradiate should be along the way shortly, which is really going to mitigate and no, it's going to be a Hydralisk bust. So an attempt at a Hydra bust with plus one weapons and plus one carapace to support. Maybe with Mutalisks overhead. I have not seen this attempt before. Maybe with overwhelming troops it can get done. But I feel like Love has actually done a pretty good job of macroing. He has to get caught out of position and really have the unit strong. And ooh, the Overlord 
That was the micro overlord getting caught open field. Another overlord is going to be selected. Love, however, moving out SCVs and confirming that there's no third. So he has to have... Might want to drop bunkers upon seeing that. Rancor continuing to test the edge, looking for stragglers, not really finding any. The science vessel's moving out. One of them getting picked off before it's able to drop anything. Is Radiate even researched? Radiate's not even there yet. So this is just going to be detection for potential lurkers. Rancor trying to use the map feature to kind of poke away at this. But this isn't going to be lurkers at all. It's just going to be a big swarm of Hydralisks and Mutalisks, almost playing this as though he's playing it versus Mech. But the Mutalisks taking additional damage. Rancor might want to save them and just back out until the Mutalisks, until the Hydralisks join the fray. This could be critical, though. If he can pick off that Science Vessel with the Hydralisks, that is going to allow those Mutalisks to stay in play for a longer period of time. This Marine now confirming absolutely that there's no third. Love might be just kind of puzzled, wondering where that additional base is at. He's got a lot of racks in the background. He's still pumping those science vessels. Wonder if he's going to take motions to go ahead and grab his third. He's floating a lot of minerals right now. So a big grouping of Hydralisks. Are they going to wait for plus two? They're starting to move forward. So Rancor wants to win it on upgrades alone here. Plus one weapons alongside. He's just like, my units are going to hit harder. That's what's going to happen. And I'll get map control that way. Mule's trying to string these Marines out and peel them forward. The Hydralisks moving along the left side of the map. So Rancor potentially looking for a backstab. The commsats are going to be absolutely huge here as to whether they can spot the army, but it could be that Love is just going to be constantly commsatting to try to find... Yeah, he's still looking for expansions in the Mutalisks. So the Mutalisks trying to tempt forward, missing the army. They're moving into a high ground situation. Now the Mutalisks engage! And Love in retreat, losing a lot of Marines on that forward edge. Science vessels there, they're going to be able to radiate, but the irradiated Mutalisks jumping on top of the Marines... So the Radiate does damage there as well. And now peeling forward. Now the question is, is can Love macro enough to stop these plus one? Now the Carapace hitting as well to stop these Hydralisks in bulk from running them over. Now grouping up. A Radiate's being dropped. Rancor needs to micro, killing his own Hydralisks to prevent it from doing damage to his ball. Going heads up. Some nice micro, killing those Marines. Double bunkers being dropped now. But it doesn't look like there's going to be any Marines left. To get in the bunkers. So it is nothing left to go in the bunkers. The Hydralisks now pounding away at the natural expansion. More Radiates being dropped. Rancor being very diligent and killing his own Hydralisks. So the Radiate can't do damage. This is... And now Love backed up to his own main. Trying to rebuild Marines to get back into this. The Hydralisks completely breaching. It looks like a factory down. Maybe oh, trying to get a Desperation Seize Shank there maybe. But Love getting completely caught off guard by this two-base play. Now Rancor has gone ahead and grabbed that additional base. Science Vessels out of position trying to cut off reinforcements, but they're just paying for it with their lives. And a brilliant, very unorthodox play here from Rancor. Pinning Love back to... Now it's one base versus three. Rancor has superior upgrades. Well, actually, I take that back. Plus two weapons, plus one armor on both sides. So formidable forces on both edges. If some lurkers can get added into this, I'm not seeing any movement towards lur lurker tech. It looks like plus two carapace is being upgraded. But Rancor now running off three bases. Continuing to filter in more Hydralisks. A very powerful army. A single SCV sneaking out here. Maybe if some more science vessels can get out, some more medics can join this. Love is surviving at this stage, but is he in a position to win it? Initial compsats being dropped. Another Radiate. Additional radiates. Some nice self-kills. It's going to soften those Hydralisks up nevertheless. The science fills account growing. That is going to be a big factor. Loves with a bit of a supply lead, but that's currently potentially shrinking. Mutalisks walking up to kind of join in the action. This is now a saturated third base. Some Scourge hanging out excuse me, in position as well. And it's kind of a waiting game. Love... Just building more and more Marines and Medics. And some dropships. Oh, dropships could be critical here. 
fly over the army. This kind of reminds me of cat. Why don't we catapult over the dark forces and into Mordor? SCV getting picked off here in the backfield. More radiates being dropped. Here's the thing, though. Rancor does need to make a move eventually because otherwise he's just going to keep losing troops here steadily. Wow, look at that! how bright that blur is. It shows you how many Marines are waiting. Still no Lurker tech. No movement towards Hive either. He does have the Queen's Nest down. Adrenal upgrade would be significant. The Mutal is squandering up, getting some free damage. And it looks like there's a lot of, yeah, Scourge, just in case there were dropships that were going to sneak out here. Rancor now up economically. A single Marine wandering out, running into some Zerglings. Fourth base now for Rancor. Rancor just continuing to reinforce this front. And with map control just droning a lot and adding a lot of hatcheries, this is going to get real scary real fast for Love. So Love built a command center in the background, or repaired this? I think he repaired his command center. Looking to retake his natural expansion, but he needs to not be in a I'm retaking my natural expansion mode. He needs to be in a I'm going to execute a killing blow. And I think I might have missed the dropships getting annihilated along the 3 o'clock. But no, that happened. Never mind. The dropships snuck all the way across. Rancor, however, on top of it. Is he going to be able to find it, though? No! And that's going to leave this bottom left-hand base exposed. While that's happening with the distractionary tech, the med medics and marines peeling forward to open up the front. Some science vessels look like they're gonna lose their life. Mutalist trying to group up as well, but that's going to deplete any defenses that Rancor potentially is going to have and supply just plummeting. This is why you usually do not see Hydralisk versus Medic Marine, but also a drop. Something Colony is gonna be here, but this isn't gonna be sufficient to repel this attack. And Rancor just, yeah, has to bring back, morphing a lot of units on point, but these are very strong units and just obliterating everything. This is why you need lurkers or those tier 3 tech. So clever build, but I I don't know. Love Snow able to completely turn it around, eliminating this base. He's back up to two bases. The Medic Marine's potentially going to start bullying things forward. Still no lurker tech. It looks like it's still going to be Hydralisks. We do have an Ultralisk Cavern being built, but Rancor doesn't have the huge economy to make it work anymore. And also there's enough of a Medic Marine Ball and they're highly upgraded enough where they're punching through those Hydralisks. And another Medic Marine Ball now walking to that bottom right-hand base. So Rancor now in a lot of trouble, down 40 supply, is up economically, but doesn't have Lurkers, doesn't have Ultralisk, doesn't have Swarm. As they're coming in one at a time, though, the heavily upgraded Hydralisks able to pick off a lot of units there. Ooh, and uh, this is devastating. A huge amount of overlords were rallied, and they are just going to get obliterated. That's putting Rancor in the red in a moment where he needs to be surging forward with his unit count. Ultralisk Cavern is here. Hive is online. Carapace upgrades are going to be significant. But I don't know that Rancor is just going to have the pure economy to field the Ultralisks he needs to punch through. 40 supply deficit all of a sudden. And there's still dropships in the air. Medic Marines careening forward to the bottom left. Hydra is able to pick off some stragglers. Loves Main's mind out. He might want to think about taking a third while he has map control right now. The drop migrating towards the main. And now the question is, is isn't Ultralisk even going to be able to be produced? So dropping... Looks like this attack force is going to be cleaned up. Love not in position to go for an additional attack on top of it. He's got a huge ball of troops, though. Able to get a bit of economic disruption here. And now Rancor has a huge military sitting on his gates. Defense Matrix Marines walking forward. Clever maneuver. And now re-engaging the Hydralisks. And you can see he just has to peel back, running on top of the three sunken colonies. Love looks like he is enough to go ahead and burst through at the natural expansion. So despite only mining on one base, the Medic Marines just being more efficient than pure Hydralisk. Punching through. Ultralisks are now here. They do have that plus four carapace. But 
Rancor realizes it is too much. So going to GG. So clever play overall. Unfortunately, does not pay out. And Love takes game one. And what I'm going to call a nice, exciting match. That was really heads up on Love's part to just play patiently. Get his army reestablished. And push through. Very persistent. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.